Welcome back to Elite Truck Repairs. Today we're doing something kind of cool. It's a little different. So what we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be showing you what I just did with this weird looking unit right here. So this is a hydrogen cell. It takes distilled water and turns it into hydrogen and oxygen. So how it works is you put your distilled water in here and you, well, when we install it, we put this stuff in it, which is called potassium hydroxide. Now, this is the catalyst that basically forces the chemical reaction to happen once you apply electricity to it. So we put a little scoop of this in with the amount of water it takes to fill basically one gallon to fill that. So how, how this works is the water comes out down into the cell here where this gets 12 volts and there's a series of different plates and stainless steel and all kinds of fancy metals inside there that make this happen and then it pumps your hydrogen back out through here or wait no maybe it feeds that way I'm not really sure to be honest with you it feeds one way or the other I don't design this thing but it comes out here up here okay hydrogen comes out here it gets filtered through this which is like a it's like a reservoir blowback safety mechanism so just in case there's some sort of ignition uh, farther up the line it won't go back through here and do any damage to the unit or cause any explosions it's like a safety system so then <clears throat> the hydrogen comes out of here and runs down this hose and out here now with this system these boxes are kind of generically designed. They weren't designed exactly for this application. So with this movie generator here, it has a big Cummins diesel engine in it. And I had to make significant modifications to make this work. So what they wanted, if you can see here, this used to be the toolbox. Well, it still is. It's a toolbox, okay? It used to go all the way across. Now I cut the lid and in installed another wall. So it's basically like a functional toolbox on that side still. And mounted this little unit right here. I used the old toolbox lid to make a bulkhead. And I used a piece of the toolbox lid to make the gusset. So it's pretty solid. So in case anybody decides to kick these hoses or if they get caught on anything or if they lift it off without disconnecting it, it'll all be secured nice and strong right here instead of pulling right out of the machine, which would be bad. So then we have quick connect fittings because these, these generators can be transplanted on different trailers, so everything needs to be quick connect. So. You have our main power plug connector, signal wire connector, and gas connector. On the inside, it's kind of dark. Let me get my light. Okay, so we've basically got everything coming through the wall and trimmed the insulation to fit. Everything runs through there, all insulated against rubbing. And then I've basically designed a double relay system. So these units have a heater installed in them. Well, and so when it gets cold out, so it doesn't freeze. So in order for to prevent this thing from killing the battery when this thing's not in use, we've installed this basically this double relay system so it takes oil pressure from the engine when it's running and then it'll signal this relay right here 
to turn on, which will signal this solenoid, which will turn on and activate the main power through those big cables right there. And then, you know, if the engine dies, then it all shuts off. It's all, there's like a double redundant safety where there's the, the signal turns off as well as the main power turns off. And then, so this blue hose here is the hydrogen comes up, runs through here and directly into the intake before the turbo. Now, it may look a little messy, but that's actually a bulkhead fitting through the rubber. We've just gone the extra mile and sealed it as best we could extra with silicone. I'm 110% that'll never leak. It may not look pretty, but it's effective. And then here we've got our main power connected to the battery and main ground. So we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. I just finished filling it up with the uh, water catalyst mixture and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's running, making smoke, and the little blue lights down there indicate that we have power to the unit, and we'll be watching these hoses right here for bubbles. Oh, I see bubbles, do you see bubbles? Look real close in that hose. See the bubbles? should see bubbles coming through on this side pretty soon. It'll take a minute. Eventually we'll see bubbles coming through on this side too. So what this unit does is it lowers emissions, increases fuel economy, and well, I mean, basically those two things. But the significant part is is that it, it more or less eliminates NOx emissions. Now, if you know anything about emissions, you'll know that NOx is the only emission chemical that can't be recycled by the natural environment. It basically stays in the environment forever, and it's bad. So... Um, this machine effectively eliminates NOx completely, lowers carbon dioxide and particulate matter quite substantially as well. You get about, depending on, you know, the size of your foot in a typical application, you get anywhere between 10 and 20 percent extra fuel economy. And these things, you know, they kind of run at a steady RPM, so I'd imagine it's somewhere in between. But yeah, the government has uh, sponsored or, you know, supplemented this initiative, whatever you call it. So they basically provide like 50% of the funding for like large fleets. So anyways, yeah, this company that provides these machines is called Empire Hydrogen. They're uh, based in, I believe it's Comox on Vancouver Island. Well, somewhere on Vancouver Island anyways. Um, but yeah, check out their website at empirehydrogen.com and uh, it may be an option for you. So let's check on our status here. We've got lots of bubbles over here. Sometimes these bubbles are hard to see. On this side at least. But it's doing something. We have lots of bubbles over here. Maybe it's just the, that side that makes bubbles. I honestly can't remember. They may have uh, updated this configuration since the last time I looked at it. But it's definitely working because we're making bubbles on that side. 
I feel like by the time it comes out this side, it's probably pure gas by then, so maybe there is no bubbles. But yeah, it's working. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Elite Truck Repairs. We'll be back again with another video with some cool stuff. Happy Halloween.